So we're talking about the absolute worst, Ew. awfulest oh. cigar advice I've ever had. Let's talk about it. So if you guys are new here, consider subscribing. Today we're talking all about cigar advice and just the worst advice or tips I've ever heard. Number one being um, cellophane or no cellophane. Now this has been a kind of like a debate in the community. The idea is that you know if you had cigars, uh, you should maybe take the cellophane off so, that, so they could age better. And I've just found that's never really true. Um, I can show you back here actually. So this cigar has been uh, in cellophane and this cigar is not in cellophane. And I've found that the cigars that are not in cellophane consist Consistently have damaged wrappers, maybe a little bit of mold, maybe a tiny bit of dryness to them where I see the band start moving around like this. Can you see that? Can you see that right there? That's really annoying. So Tim gave me one of these, it's called a humidimeter. This measures humidity inside of the cigar itself. Basically it converts, you know, uh, moisture into relative humidity. And this is basically what I've, how, how I've kind of proven that cigars, they just, no matter, you, you know, it doesn't even matter if, you're, if your wine door is perfect. Um, cigars that are dry, uh, they, they, they get drier when they're not, uh, you know, in cellophane. So it's just, it just happens. So if you can read that, it says 66%. So that's, you know, 64%, you know, that's a few degrees off from what my humidor says. Now, if we use this inside of the actual Liga Zebra here, this one's from Tim as well. I bought this at a shop. You can see it reads right around 70, 71. So that's a six or 7% difference in humidity. And, um, you know, I just found that with cellophane, it's gonna last a lot longer. You're gonna like the way that the cigars look and taste. So cellophane is definitely the way to go. By the way, if you guys are interested in getting humidimeter, this is the perfect holiday gift. You can check them out at Cigars Daily. And I'm also gonna give one away. So stay tuned for the end of the video. The worst advice number two is actually people, I've seen older guys do this. They'll smoke a cigar and then they'll cut it whenever they want to stop and then they'll smoke it later. But the problem with that is the, the cigar gets really bitter, it builds up tar and ammonia. You just you just don't want to do that. You really don't. Um, maybe after an hour it's okay or before an hour it's okay. But I've seen guys who you know will you know burn cigars, cut them and put them back in their wine door or humidor and it just makes the humidor even smell bad. So just don't do that. If you have a cigar try to enjoy the whole thing right then and there. Tip number three is to never use gardening foam, the green gardening foam that comes with your humidifiers. That stuff is cheap, it's terrible, it grows mold, it degrades. You could literally use anything else. You could use Boveda packs. Um, here I've got a ton of Boveda packs and I actually recharge them inside of this um, little p uh, dish here. So this is distilled water in here and it slowly sucks up humidity into here. So you can use Boveda packs, you can use heartfelt humidity beads, you can even use gel even though that's not recommended, uh, but anything is better than green foam. Just get rid of it, throw it away. This leads me to the worst advice number four is analog hygrometers. These come with your cheap, you know, hum uh, humidifiers and uh, humidors. Just throw these away. You don't want them. You don't need them. All you want is a digital hygrometer, not hydrometer, hygrometer. And that's just like this. This is a, uh, a Wi-Fi version. It has a huge screen. This one is called a Govi. You can check the link below if you're interested. Um, but this is awesome too because it takes AAA batteries which I can find easily and um, I can use the Wi-Fi capabilities on my phone to check on my wine door. So this for me is just perfect. It sits in my wine door right back there. Don't use the analog ones. And the fifth worst piece of advice is people always assume a darker cigar means that it is super strong in body or in strength. So that's not really true. A lot of blenders will blend to make cigars, uh, you know, kind of meet your expectations, but it's not true. Just because you have a Maduro shade or an Oscuro shade doesn't mean it has a lot of nicotine nicotine, which is strength, or body, which is flavor. And, and body and flavor really are independent as well. Just because you have a lot of body doesn't mean you have a lot of nicotine and vice versa. So a lot of people just assume, oh wow, that thing was it's dark and bold and it's gonna knock you off your socks. It's not always true. So that is it on the top five worst pieces of advice I've ever had. What are yours? Let me know in the comments below. I'm also giving away this humidimeter. This one is from Tim at Cigars Daily. You can check them out. So here is the humidimeter up close and personal. As you can see, it just has one button and one display. You just turn it on and you just wait a second after putting it putting the foot on there. You can also put it in the head of the cigar. And what I've noticed is my cigars 
actually read drier than the than the wine door itself. So I've noticed that the internal uh, humidity can be different than the air, uh, you know, the ambient temperature and air. So think about that next time. And I think that's the benefit of having this is now I know what's inside of the cigar, not just in the wine door. And I've also noticed that I prefer a drier cigar. I prefer smoking around 62% internally, um, but I still think I should, you know, up my wine door a few more percentage points. But this is definitely a cool device, perfect for Christmas time, and definitely you can get it at Cigars Daily. Leave a comment as to how this could help you with your cigars, and I'm gonna do the giveaway randomly in one week. So leave a comment below, and we'll see you guys later. Peace. <laughs> we got something special. What up guys, James here and... What's that look? The, the third piece, you gotta, you gotta use this humidity to fit, you know, whatever. That. Tip number three is never use, whoa. Tip number, th and let's see here.